Well, good morning, fellow zombies who are sleep deprived and emotionally screwed up. This is your zombie out here, John C. Weaver from Roseman, California. How you doing? Diary the Weaver named John Weaver, which would be me. It is the 19th still of April of Wednesday. It's a very chilly morning. Shortly before, oh, it's about 7.50... My eyes are playing tricks on me. It's about 48. 7.48 in the morning. I'm not alive yet. Let's get up from my nap. So. Response time. Came across an article. Regarding the FBI. I get it from time to time. I'll get a connection from FBI. And they're talking about one thing or another. You gotta level with our... Uh, Government pages out there are try to keep in contact with, with the public. They really got to love hearing and reading some of these comments from people from other places who are just as screwed up and sick in the head as, as the ones that keep finding these days physically. The, one, the keyboard warriors out there I think they've got a well, I don't know. They got a right to harangue the FBI because of First Amendment rights. Don't they always know that sometimes there's th there are things you're not supposed to say to the FBI? And you might ask, why would I ask this? Why would I talk about this? One? Because I need a little bit of a lark. It's not haranguing the FBI. It's reading some of the shit I'm reading on there that people have a conniption fit over. And apparently, when it comes down for law enforcement, they don't like them. Even far away. Over to seas from beyond America's shore. And I'll read it. And I'll see and read the, the conspiracy nut jobs coming out here. I gotta take a laugh at that one. Because we still have the conspiracy nut jobs out here. They're still claiming one way or another without proof. They're just saying it. Just to be keyboard warriors or just to be complete blithering idiots. Like the ones they are. Am I considered a blithering idiot? Possibly. The thing is, I know I'm a full of an idiot at the time. And I don't pay attention to anybody else's conspiracy crap going on. But I'm not exactly no fool either. I've also been dealing with the grief pages, as usual. When we talk about things. And as I try to explain on my channel, on some of the videos, and then I'll piss these people off because of the titles on there. I'm not making any apologies for it. If I get the retitling, I'll retitle. And if not, there it is. And I'm not changing a damn thing for anybody. I'm not accommodating either. I didn't ask for accommodations. I didn't ask for any changes. I am simply telling my story in the way I can. I am simply telling people what's going on. And the suggestion that my title should be in a way that people can find it. Well, if they happen to find my channel, then they can see the other videos. All they got to do is click on the damn channel icons on YouTube and then take off from there. Of course, they would understand. When? What does that mean? Well, if they're computer savvy enough, they would. If they're computer savvy enough to go on YouTube, they would. If they can use a remote control and try to think, figure things out, they would. So I'm not knocking that intelligence off them. I was going to say something about today's anniversary that I forgot a long time ago. Back in 95. <laughs> on this day... We had Oklahoma City bombing. 168 people blew that, blown the hell up. Half the building of the Oklahoma City federal building out there, the Murray building, looked worse than anything else I'd seen concerning about denuded. I'd seen an earthquake denude buildings firsthand. <laughs> Sheer magnitude of a of a quake just 
sharing our fronts of buildings and leaving them exposed and ragged. That's another thing to see a man-made explosion. A lot of fertilizer in a truck to do that much damage. <laughs> and I was watching it on the news. And I still couldn't believe that one lunatic actually went through it. It was bad enough a couple of years ago seeing another lunatic trying to convince people that he's God. And people should follow him to his death. And they did. And a few other lunatics out there who claim that aliens were going to take him, but they have to die to have their souls connected to the UFOs to fly off. Mass suicide on that one in California on that one. I remember. And I tried not to remember Timothy McVeigh and not feel sorry for him. I don't know how. I mean, I could... I don't know how I should feel about this guy who got delusioned. Something got him to a point where he hated the government so much he was going to take it on an innocent people. To make what kind of point a hell of a lot of anger and a hell of a lot of delusion and back in the 90s that's one thing but man when I'm seeing it these days it's horrible uh, hold on a second you know these days they look at our our shooters and killers our lone wolves out there and are wondering what the hell is going on with these major malfunctions and nobody's got an answer for it our serial killers out there our shooters our lone wolves out there Something goes wrong with them, and there's no way to detect mental illness. There's no way, unless they've been to the doctors, and the doctors are going to be, and this is going to be pushing, or probably destroying, the patient-doctor confidentiality. In order for us, as a society, or even a country at this point, to protect us from the so-called nut jobs, I'm not going to... I can't keep putting that in the air quotes these days because we do got freaking nut jobs out there. In order to keep them from doing what they got to be doing to us, we have to re-report them. We have to. We got no choice. We have to break confidentiality left and right. If we knew about Timmy C. McVeigh, we could have been preventing the, the Oklahoma City bombing. If we knew about the guy uh, shooting up, what was that, that Texas campus back in the 60s? If we had lead indicators being reported to authorities about potential violence going to be perpetrated, our civil liberties would be at total jeopardy, be blown to hell. In order to have complete and security, we have to destroy freedom. Think about it. To prevent the lone wolves, we have to get rid of liberty. We have to get rid of the Constitution. We have to make up a new Constitution. And I don't think our country is ready for that shit yet. I don't think they're realizing what the hell's what's in front of them right now as it is. We have no way of knowing whether or not the next person is going to be a killer or not. Until they actually do the act. If they had left indications and clues with anybody and everybody, it's not being reported now, is it? But if it was, then how would our civil liberties be affected? How would our freedoms be affected? We want them so badly, but we also want security. There is no balance. It's either that or or. How much security are you willing to pay for? I'm not talking about ducats. I'm talking about how much freedom and how much rights you give away. You say, we want to be a free country? Well, we're going to be turning into an autocratic society with a state-run militia or a national-run militia. You guys ever watched the movie Escape from New York? And that, about 20, 25 years later, that cheesy film Kirk Douglas did. Escape from Los Angeles. 
It's not the special effects that would get to you at this point over here. It's the story and the meaning of it. Where you have a society who gave up their rights to have a secured country in the form of the United States Police Force. Think about it. United States Police Force. Check it out on YouTube. And then you can find a skip from Los Angeles. Find that one too and look at it. <laughs> now I have a friend of Kirk Douglas's point of view, but looking at it from the entire from a different point of view of civil liberties. <clears throat> Also, you want to talk about really dystopian, The Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Richard Dawson. Now, the Escape series was dealing with the United States Police Force. Was it called the same way in the Running Man movie? Where if you were caught by doing something and you were turned in, you got put on a damn game show. What is the format of the of the police state there's got to be other movies out there that go also that would also back this idea up the getting rid of civil liberties for absolute protection it's like putting yourself in a bubble wrap world yeah, the vaguest notions of things, but they're so wrapped up with bubble wrap that you can't handle them very much. You can't enjoy them very much. You can't enjoy anything. And the problem is, when you're dealing with the solutions we're trying to find, that's the hardest damn things, because one of them would be patient uh, doctor confidentiality. Lawyers have to fight with this one in the court systems regarding having confidentiality between their, uh, between the client and the attorney. And they have to fight that one in the court sometimes for the good of everybody. So how much civil liberties do we have to get rid of for absolute protection? In the Timothy McVeigh situation, if we had known about him, if it was reported a long time ago on the individual, there could have been tragedy prevented on that day. Or, or, <coughs> without foreseeing the future on this one, there could have been tragedy happening somewhere else possibly because we got rid of our civil liberties we wanted absolute protection and then we got suffered through a situation that should have been taken care of the hardest part about being law enforcement is to the balance and our balance is way out of whack how many police reports are we running into constantly these days of law enforcement having ultimate authority or trying to have ultimate authority. Young or old, doesn't matter. And losing control, losing perspective, losing ourselves in the process. In the, for, in the process of theoretically protecting people they harm. We have politicians in the federal government trying to get away with anything and everything. We've got gun violence happening left and right on their watch, and they don't care. They care about one guy's stupidity, and they care more about that than anything else. They're willing to go bring this circus to New York and cry their eyeballs out and blame the other political parties. Just so they can get themselves noticed and on the 6 o'clock news, or worse, 24-7 news cycles. 
or worse, perpetual cycles online. Hell of a world we wake up to. Hell of a world we're dealing with these days. Are we dealing with our world? Are we really, really dealing with our world? Or do we actually have an idea what the hell's going on? And I haven't got a clue to tell people. How about this one? Shooting out in Dadeville, Alabama. They finally got the two idiots arrested in a Sweet 16 shooting. And they're making a big deal with their reports. You got to get their got to get their two cents out to the politicians trying to explain what the hell happened. But there have been other shootings that cops have done to other people. And slowly but surely they're trying to make their way into the public view. It gets to me that I keep hearing conspiracy theories and reading about them online, as I said before. They drive me nuts. Well, they drive me nuts because they don't make sense with all their bullshit. The FBI is using microwave energy on people. Watch out! They're out to get you! Okay, how about the uh, old one I've heard so long? There are Black Hawk helicopters in the air. They're going to be landing UN troops. They're going to be taking over your country. They're going to be taking over your world. Yeah, where, when? Yeah, if you're going to tell me that there's going to be a natural disaster. All right, fine. You're going to be telling me that there's a hurricane. Actually, there's a tornado coming down my way. In the Antelope Valley. That I believe in. I believe in science. If it gets too damn cold and the pipes are breaking, I believe in that one. If we got gas main breaks, I believe in that one. But if you're going to tell me that there's going to be a mob of people coming at my door, bounding on there, wanting to arrest me for whatever bullshit. I'll follow up on the grieving pages left and right because I can understand human grieving. I can understand about human pain. But the pain in here concerning about delusional thinking that everybody's out to get me. Well, let them get me. Bring it on. I got nothing else. Nothing else going on in my life. Bring it on. What are you going to arrest me for? Huh? You're going to come in here and shoot me? Be my guest. The thing is, I care more about my dog than I care about anything else these days. I suspect some videos will probably be making out there. I mean, i got to give a kudos to law enforcement for what they're doing. There's a few nut jobs out there in the, in the police forces and the law enforcement out there who are thinking that, they've got, that they're above the law. These assholes keep forgetting that they swore in an oath to the Constitution. Which is the law. <sighs> these things we have to go through these days, I swear to God.